Hello, we are the performing duo uh, Ormrod and Son, and we're going to perform for you the comic monologue The Lion and Albert. We are the father and the son. Oh, 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 oh. You've done that, right? yeah. Okay, let's start. The Lion and Albert. The Lion and Albert. There's a. There's a famous seaside place called Blackpool. That's noted for fresh air and fun. Well, it's. And Mr. and Mrs. And Mr. and Mrs. Albert. Went there with young Albert. Went there with young Albert. Their son. Yeah, a little lad with young Albert. All dressed. What? All dressed. All dressed in his swell. Quite a swell. With a stick, with an horse's oh, head handle. That was the best that one would could tell. Well, they didn't think much to the well, ocean. The trouble was, the, waves, the waves, they were smiggling and small. There were no wrecks. Nobody drowned. In fact, nobody to laugh at at all. So, seeking for further amusement, they paid and went into the zoo. Where there were lions and tigers and oh, camels. Oh, there were all Dale and sandwiches too. There was this great big lion called. Well, called Wallace. Whose nose? Oh, nose was all covered in scars. What? There was no wrecks and nobody drowned. No, we've done that. Though. He lay in a somnolent posture with, with his, his po po page. Uh, page. Uh, pressed up to bars. Dressed up to bell quite as well. Now, Albert had heard about. Well, Albert had heard that the lions. The lions. How they were ferocious and. Yes. Wild. What? Now they were ferocious and wild. So to see Wallace lying there so peaceful, well, he did as he right, said Charles. So straightway the brave little fellow. So the brave way, the sweet little fellow. Not showing a morsel of fear. Took a stick with his horse at that angle and he poked it in Wallace's ear well, there. You could see the lion didn't like it. Uh, For giving a kind of a roll, he pulled Albert into cage with him and swallowed the little lad all. Now, Pa, who had seen the occurrence, well, Pa had seen the occurrence and uh, didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do now, said Mother. What? Young lions, it's all but. And oh, mother what? said, Well, he, I am vexed. vexed. The keeper was quite nice about it. He came saying, What's the to do? And Pa said, Yon lions at our Albert, and him in his Sunday best too. That's not right. Anyway. Uh, the keeper was quite nice about it. He came, he said, oh, what a nasty mishap. Are you sure it's your boy he's eaten? And Pa said, am I sure? See there, here's his cap. Ah. The manager had to be sent for. He came saying, what's he the to do? He pulled out his purse. No, right not away. yet. He said, what's to do? And Ma said, yon lions at our Albert and him in his Sunday best too. The manager wanted no trouble. He pulled out his purse. Purse right away. He said, here, I want to settle the matter. Like, and Pa said, and Pa said, well, look here, how much do you usually pay? But Mother had got proper awkward. When she thought what the lion had done. And said. No. Uh, no, that's what she said. And she said, no, someone's got to be summonsed. And that was decided upon. Off they went to police station. Uh, to see magistrate chap. And they told him what had happened to Albert. And proved it by showing. 
I saw in his cap. The magistrate gave his opinion. The magistrate gave his opinion. No one, one was really to blame. Well. And he hoped that Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom. Well, he hoped that he'd have further sons to their name. At that, Mother got proper blazing and said, Thank you, kind... Thank you, sir, kindly, said she. What, spend all my life? For lazy children. To feed a bloody liar. Not me. Thank you very much.